Primary season ramps up this week as Republicans turn their attention to New Hampshire. With the campaigns comes increased attention to the northern border. Over the weekend, GOP challenger Nikki Haley became the latest to sound the alarm about increased incursions, saying, I think we do whatever it takes to keep people out. Asked by reporters if her words meant she supported building a wall at the Canadian border, Haley responded, if that's what it takes to keep them out, we will do a wall. We will do any sort of border patrol that we need. Haley isn't the only one who's turned her sights north. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, before dropping out of the presidential race Sunday, recently supported building a barrier along trouble spots. Vivek Ramaswamy, who ended his bid for the Republican nomination last week, has been calling for more security based on the flow of fentanyl and other illicit drugs from the north for months. He even addressed it in a November primary debate hosted by NBC. Don't just build the wall, build both walls. Can't just complete the wall, use the military to seal the Swiss cheese for the tunnels that they're actually building underneath that wall. Meanwhile, the GOP frontrunner has not said much about how he would handle the northern border, but Trump remains a major advocate for enhanced barriers at the U.S.-Mexico border. While Democrats and the Biden administration have railed against border walls, we learned in October the Department of Homeland Security was planning to construct 20 miles of border wall in Starr County, Texas. The White House said at the time their hand was forced, asking Congress to reappropriate Trump era funds. When lawmakers refused, the White House said that forced them into construction, as reported by Forbes. This is something that we were required by law and we are complying. This is an administration that does believe in the rule of law. When asked if he believes border walls work, the president has routinely said no. That same month, as the U.S. watched the southern border crisis grow, the New Hampshire Attorney General warned of a surge in illegal border activity in the north. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol said more than 6,900 people tried to cross the border in the areas of New Hampshire, Vermont and New York from 2022 into 2023, an increase of more than 1,000 migrants. In response to the surge, the governor of New Hampshire ordered the Attorney General to move more law enforcement resources to the border. Critics said the AG didn't have specific state data to justify the move. While the attorney general did acknowledge the feds only released numbers for the three state region, he said it's just a matter of common sense to understand the impact in the Granite State, telling news station WMUR. It's only common sense to think that if crossings are up that much across the sector, that New Hampshire's portion of the border, that's 25 percent of the sector, would also have seen an increase in crossings. In October, Governor Sununu launched a new initiative to add 10,000 patrol hours to the state's northern border over the next year and a half. The patrols will be made up of state and local law enforcement. That is in addition to the 600 to 700 patrol hours the feds currently conduct. And officials argue it's a matter of national security. U.S. Customs and Border Protection revealed last year that the majority of crossings of people from the terrorist watch list were at the northern border.